Hey everybody! So, first video of 2017! This is a redraw of a drawing way back in 2015, and I want to use it as a benchmark to see how I'd improved in 2016 versus 2015, and to help me figure out new art goals. You can probably tell already, um, the old one is on the screen. I've improved. <laughs> But I wanted to use this video just to talk about my, like, art resolutions for 2017 and, you know, see, like, what your guys' goals are for the new year as well. So my first goal, which I've gotten much better at already, but I really want to push myself more on, is improving my realism on faces. I've started getting more into realism as I've stopped being utterly terrified by it. Thank you, life drawing class, for forcing me to face my worst fear. But the one area that just has really always intimidated me, and I haven't really faced head-on until like a few months ago, was faces. Like, they just terrified me. Like, heads, faces, like, they just make no sense to me. I want nothing to do with them. So, I've started facing it a bit already, but what I've got now is more of a stylized realism, and I really want to get more into, like, actual realism. That's probably not going to be, like, my go-to style, but I'd like to at least be able to do it so then it can influence my more stylized stuff and I can make choices about what to stylize a bit better. My second goal is to improve my pen and ink work, which is a goal like every year, but especially the big thing I want to work on for 2017 is hatching. Hatching is something that I was never really taught. I think it's just because for whatever reason in art school, like even in like high school, but also like at my school, they don't really teach you pen and ink. There aren't really that many people who like do it, who are also professors and like how to draw classes, you know? It's like, they're like, oh, the real art supplies, charcoal, oil paints, and like, I like my pen and ink. It's fun. You can do a lot of good stuff with it. And hatching, I know, is a good way to like, get shading and just make things look cool, but I've been trying to figure out how to do it without random lines, and when I was in high school, I would just kind of put random lines, and you could tell they were random that I weren't thinking about them. Wasn't. Weren't isn't a word. So I'm definitely going to be working on figuring out how to do hatching without it being completely random lines. Thankfully, Art YouTube is amazing. Like, I haven't been making videos that long, but I've already seen so many amazing things from so many different people, and I have some tutorials saved, so hopefully that'll work out. Goal number three is to get back into watercolors. I did watercolors for a bit in high school because, you know, you were kind of required to do a bit of everything, and then I just kind of stopped. My first watercolor painting in, like, three years I did, like, a few weeks ago. So I really want to, like, get back into watercolors and just learn new techniques and, like, I don't know, just get back into it because I really missed it. Fourth goal is also painting related figure out how digital painting actually works. In the theory, if you can do paintings with actual paint, you can also do, like, you know, digital paintings. But for whatever reason, that just hasn't transferred over to me. Like, I know the brushes, to me at least, act really differently than, like, actual brushes, and I don't know, I just, it hasn't clicked yet. How do you actually do this and have it feel like a painting and not like somebody just like used the mixer brush with a bunch of random colors in Photoshop without actually knowing what they were doing? Because that's what all of my digital paintings have been. And so I'd really like to try and figure out how does digital painting work? How does it relate to like actual painting? And just like figure out this whole digital painting thing, because I'd like to get into it. It seems cool, especially since I'm an animation major and putting actual paintings in my work is a little difficult when you need a lot of backgrounds. The last goal is to develop a drawing style that I can actually animate. I haven't ever like sat down and developed a drawing style specifically for animation, it's just been like doodly-doo, here are my doodles, I'm gonna make them move. 
But I have my senior thesis film coming up that I'm going to be starting to animate hopefully this summer since I'm going to be hand drawing this thing. My regular drawing style from reference really just has developed into more of a stylized realism, which looks really cool and also takes way too long to animate. Like, on this drawing, I spent like two hours on the sketch. Like, that's why it's half the video. I can't animate like that. I need to develop a style that's much faster to draw, but still keeps a lot of the elements of what's starting to become my main style. And it's going to be difficult, but it'll definitely be worth it, especially if it can save me time and mostly stress on my final project. So here's the final drawing, and it's definitely not perfect, but like, holy art improvement, Batman. It's it's come a long way since 2015. Like, I learned how to like draw heads, and I stopped being scared of backgrounds. Like, it's kind of amazing. And now, thanks for watching. Um, no, let me know what your art goals are for 2017. I love hearing what like other artists are trying to work on. Like. We all have different strengths and weaknesses, and it's just kind of amazing when we can like help each other out. Like, if you know of like good tutorials or good resources to help me figure out any of these things, like I will love you for life. And if you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and please subscribe.